Here, we present the blood extraction method via capillary puncture, recommended for patients under one year old. You will need the following material in order to collect the samples. Triangular point lance, filter paper, gauze, alcohol, bandage for puncture zone, resealable plastic storage, syringe and needles, fridge. Complete with legible handwriting the form attached to the sample. It is very important to follow the instructions in detail in order to collect a valid sample. Heat the extraction area by wrapping it for three to five minutes in a cloth soaked in hot water. Clean the puncture zone with alcohol. Dry excess alcohol with sterile gauze. Puncture the patient's heel or hand finger if the baby is under three months old. Dry and remove the first drop of blood that is formed with sterile gauze. Allow a voluminous drop of blood to form, slightly compressing the tissue around the puncture zone. Allow the drop of blood to touch slightly the filter paper and to spread on it. Repeat the procedure to fill the remaining unfilled circles. Do not overfill the paper by applying more than one drop of blood per circle. Ensure that the drop of blood absorbs uniformly onto the filter paper and that it appears on side opposite from where the drop was applied. Once the circles are absorbed with blood, put the paper on a clean, smooth, straight, flat and non-absorbent surface such as a laminated, plastic or metal table as well as a bracket to support the filter paper and let the blood dry until the following day at room temperature. After correctly drying the filter paper, put it in a zipper sealed plastic bag in the fridge at 4 degrees centigrade for storage until it is sent to the laboratory for analysis. We remind you that you should try to avoid heating the puncture zone by strongly compressing the tissue around it to obtain a blood drop adequately big. The result is that the capillary blood drop is mixed with an inappropriate quantity of extracellular liquid that would modify the results of enzyme dosing. Now you can go back to the main screen to select the option of your interest or to obtain information about taking valid samples and detecting invalid samples. If you have any doubt, please consult the Frequent Questions section.